how would you describe your style of cooking or baking in this sense? Um, I mean, I've been doing this for only about 10, 10, 11 years. Uh, always progressive, moving very fast. Um, never one day is the same for me. It's, it's always uh, something new. Whatever I see, whatever is around me, I take inspiration. Uh, very progressive, very uh, evolutionary. Um, as you can see with the edible art as well, we never repeat the same art. So again, it's different. And um, I guess, you know, for us, it's always the essence of the um, flavor. You know, what, what, what flavor is is so important because that's what your memory remembers most. Um, then comes texture, temperature, and last, the aesthetics. I know over in Asia, desserts aren't necessarily the shining star like they are in other places. How do you use that um, Asian culture to showcase your desserts? Uh, for us, it's the flavors. So I took the ingredients like guava, star fruit, you know, a lot of nice Asian fruits, nice Asian herbs. Uh, we infused that, like today we had a pandan dessert with coconut. Um, but you know, very modern, very modern take on it. But it's always the balance of texture. So for us back in Singapore, around 2 a.m. dessert bar, focus on progressive desserts paired with fine wines and beverages. Um, it's been running for now eight years. Um, it's a 70 seater restaurant and uh, you can, it's an open kitchen so you can actually see the chefs cooking, oh, wow. uh, interact with us. Yeah. So what's your, what do you want to be your takeaway when people come and visit your establishment? Um, just to have a really good meal, like a good memory of you know, good desserts. I mean, it's the last dish of the meal. You know, usually people have dinner outside or have dinner at a restaurant and then they come for desserts. Um, they always go home saying they, they're going to have sweet dreams. I mean, it's, it's, it's a nice thing, you know, when, when you deliver really good desserts and uh, people just go home happy. I mean, that for us, uh, putting a smile on the, the customer's face, I mean, that, that's, just, that's just the goal. Yeah. What would you say you would want students, as far as upcoming chefs like myself, what do you think is some of the best advice for them when entering the field? Uh, perseverance. I mean, if you really decide on this, you know, I mean, every it's an investment of time. Uh, everything that you do is an investment of time, be it, you know, in your job or in your personal life. Um, if you decide to do this, make the best use out of it. And uh, it's a lot of perseverance and determination. What would you say um, that you're thinking will be the next big trends in desserts for Asian cuisine? Um, edible art for sure is, kind of, is now really booming. Uh, we just finished one for the Prime Minister at Istana, okay. so that, that was commissioned by him himself. So it, was, it, it kind of stunned me because, you know, it's just not fun. It's also a serious business, you know, where, where they take that concept to host delegates. Uh, <laughs> and have delegates, you know, pick off with their hands. Yeah. So I guess, you know, the world is changing. It's, it's uh, different and they're embracing a lot of this uh, new, new styles, new innovation. Um, so it's going to be really, really challenging in the future when we continue to do this and yet moving forward at the forefront because, you know, social media, you see chocolate balloons yeah. two continents away, somebody else can be doing that five minutes later. So it's, it's challenging as it is, you know, to keep your ideas, but yet we so freely give. Um, and, you know, I mean, the idea for freely giving is to freely receive too, so. What would you say are some of like the signature flavors or signature dishes that maybe you um, Chocolate and water is one of the dishes. Uh, I've always been working on it. Um, very interesting uh, concept because I wanted to create something for diabetics, uh, you know, sugar-free desserts. Um, then also the other one is uh, the one we just demonstrated, guava raspberry uh, plum ball. Um, that, that dessert is created without references. So that's why it's our signature because it's so unique. Uh, you can't reference it to anything else.